All right, so today we are gonna do two different experiments to model volcanoes. Um, but before we get started, reminder that volcanic eruptions occur due to a buildup of pressure inside of the magma chamber. So for our first experiment, we are gonna use a Diet Coke bottle donated by Mr. Millen. We're gonna start by adding about a half a cup of cold water. Um, my measurements are not exact. It's kind of a rough estimate. And then you're also gonna add one cup of vinegar. So a half a cup of water and one full cup of vinegar. A little bit more. There we go. Um, I'm gonna pour it in really carefully trying not to spill any, but I did set up this dish just in case I have any explosions like last time. So to create a foamier eruption that holds together better and is less runny or watery, I'm gonna add two or three drops of Dawn dish soap to my bottle. And then to make our eruption show up and just for fun, I'm going to add a couple of drops of food coloring. I'm going to do like two drops of red and one or two drops of yellow there. So we get kind of a nice orange volcano. Um, I'm then going to put our cap back on pretty tight and swirl it together so that the water, vinegar, dish soap, and food coloring are all mixed. Again, I'm not shaking it like crazy, just a swirl. All right, for our next step, I'm gonna take a half a cup of water and there it is, add some baking soda to it. So if I was gonna measure it really carefully, you'd do a half a cup of water and a half a cup of baking soda. I am estimating this time. So I'm gonna go about until the baking soda won't dissolve in the water anymore because I want there to be as much baking soda as possible in my mixture. So I'm gonna use my spoon, stir it together to get it to combine into a liquid. Go, that's better. So what I'm looking for is that the water, you can almost see the baking soda coming out of it kind of starting to become a paste, but it's still very, very liquidy. All right, so next step is the fun step. I'm gonna pour my baking soda mixture into my volcano as quickly right, as possible. So again, um, I let this sit for a second while we fix the video, so I'm gonna have to mix it again. Our baking soda settled at the bottom. So I'm gonna stir it, get it all mixed together as quickly as I can. And then I'm gonna go straight into the top of the bottle and we will see our eruption. There's our water, and then quickly in. All right, so our first experiment that we did does a really good job showing how the buildup of magma and gases inside of the magma chamber will all of a sudden come to a point and force magma out of the vents of the volcano. And that is one example of an eruption. So we're gonna do our second experiment here. For this one, we need a film canister, some water, and Alka-Seltzer tablets. So to start, you're gonna take your film canister and you're gonna fill it about halfway with water. This one I did a little too much. It's pretty good. So about halfway, doesn't really matter. Just kind of close. Maybe need a little, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our Alka-Seltzer tablets. And very quickly, I'm gonna drop one Alka-Seltzer tablet into the film canister and get the lid on. So we're gonna do this as quickly as I can. I'm gonna do it once normal now and then we'll do it another time in slow motion for fun. So we're going to drop the tablet, get the lid on tight, and then wait to see what happens. So that 
is our second example of an eruption. Um, it is demonstrating the gases building up. It's obviously not showing you the lava flow as much as the other one, but it does a way better job showing you how explosive and violent a volcano right, that's it i hope you enjoyed my super awkward vlogging attempt but i did the best i could so check back next week bye dog to see if we do another experiment